What's up guys, my name is Chris. Uh, today I'm going to be showing you a, I'll move my OBS. Um, I also need to move this, I'll put it right here. My name is Chris. Uh, today I'm gonna to be showing you a Rek'Sai game that I recently played. I actually just got out of this game maybe like uh, 15 minutes ago. Um, it was a really solid game. So I wanted to uh, show you guys it and hopefully it'll serve a guide as to uh, how to play Rek'Sai and some tips and tricks for doing so. But also some general how-tos for jungle. Um, just for context, this is a, so this is still like um, my provisionals, but I was checking the ELO. A lot of these players uh, last season were between like D2 and Master, something like that. Um, but anyways, I, I just wanted to show this game and let's get into it. All right, so start out the game with a uh, invade. Our team has Pike and Shen, so we have a pretty good invade as well as a Nivea. Um, nothing really comes of that, but we land a stun. Pike is really trying to um, push for this invade. Some stuff happening. I just target the lowest health champion. People are popping summoners left and right. Just doing my Qs, auto attacking. Aggression, gotta punish it. Really good stun. Nice. So right off the bat, um, Again, this isn't going to happen every game where you get a, a lucky ass invade and you get three kills. In fact, I have two kills off of that invade. I have a bounty on my head right there. Um, but that's not gonna happen every game. But the games that it does happen, you need, to, you need to take advantage of it. So what we saw is we saw a lot of summoners being burned, um, a lot of aggression. I mean, we can see on the, the right, Braum burned his flash, Lucian burned his flash, his heal, uh, Lee Sin burned his flash, or got burned both of his summoners. So, right here, I mean, you can see what I'm about to do, or where I'm about to go, but what would you do? Would you start top side, or would you start bottom side? Top side being blue buff, bottom side being red buff. Personally, well, you can see right here, I'm starting my red buff, because the game plan here is to then go from red buff down here because I know they don't have any summoners. I still have my flash. Check for a ward real quick. This is a nice little combo on Rek'Sai. Not even combo, but just flashing. Slow them with your Q, W, interrupt the Lucian dash. Boom. I made a mistake right here. I hesitated for a moment, so Pike took aggro. I could have taken aggro and I would have been able to absorb one more shot than Pike. Pike dies. This is what it is. Um, moving forward, I kill those, kill... I'm trying to hit level 3 uh, on this uh, Scuttler, but I see this fight happening. It's a 2v1, Leeson doesn't have flash. We also have the Anivia rotating. Easy, easy, easy. He overextended, I now have my W, or my E rather, so I can dash over walls, get a knock up. Now one thing that I'm not doing correctly on Rek'Sai is in terms of the auto attack combo, what you want to be doing is you want to, in that case, I would have knocked up Victor, auto attack, Q to cancel the auto attack animation, and then proceed. I didn't do that. Um, I'm actually a new new main, but I played Rek'Sai for a long time. Maybe I'm a little bit rusty on him and can forget some of the smaller mechanical combos, but just something to note. That's how you uh, maximize more damage. And if you don't know what auto uh, attack uh, animation canceling is, uh, just look up a video on it or leave a comment. I can um, perhaps answer that later. So I'm trying to bait this. I get the scuttler. I probably should have, in hindsight, um, let the scuttler live. That way I could smite it for health as opposed to smiting it at full health. Because as you'll see, I initiate this. And the reason I initiate this is because I have these double long swords. Um, that and Rek'Sai is just an early game champion on level 3. Um, a lot of reasons why I, I should be. That happens. Now what I did not anticipate was um, that Victor Flash. That sort of came out of nowhere, caught me off guard, so I give a, a shutdown from that. But it should be okay here. We have numbers. Yeah. 
So now I go to my uh, top side, or I go for the crab first. And the reason I go for the crab first is because Leeson just recently died. I also recently died, but I died before him. So I have the pathing advantage, um, and this would be the most contestable objective. Therefore, I claim it. And now I have the option of uh, continuing my path here or going topside here. Now I actually make a mistake. I should not be going topside here just because I have such a large advantage bot side and mid as well that I need to be pushing that as opposed to going for a risky play here. Because Leeson's right here and he could easily counter gank. So don't do like me. I'm a dummy. You can make fun of me. I also like miss my abilities abhorrently is what it is um yeah right there i'm like fuck i'm so dumb but i i instantly recognize my mistake also just as a note sorry i just read a text um i see lucian bot side here um they got into a little scuff scuffle scuff whatever um with the kaisa and pike um, so I see that he's trying to push out the lane to make it reset. I'm trying to collapse on him. I have two choices. I could either go this way or I could go this way. When you're trying to collapse on someone and you're trying to um, out macro them, I suppose, in terms of like your, your macro movement, you want to like almost cast a net. Go the way that is going to guarantee the kill as opposed to the um, the quickest route, if that makes sense. So you want to cut them off. You don't want to run at them. You want to run behind them. So like, for example, if you're like a Pantheon ulting in, you always ult in behind them as opposed to on top of them. That, that just eliminates any um, chance for escape. So I go over the wall, hold on to my, my E, Lucian kind of knows he's boned right here. Pike misses that, but that's okay. Now I just Q him, and this might seem silly, but I'm just trying to give the, the kill to Kai'Sa so I don't I don't auto attack. Now here, uh, there's a play happening. I think I run up. Yeah, I run up, but there's really not much to do. So I go back. At first I'm thinking about Dragon, but then Pike has a good idea. We're gonna try and uh, kill this Lucian because we don't know that he is there, but we can infer that he's coming there. So we wait in this bush. Um, Lucian has no idea. He, Lucian really should be a little suspicious given how aggressively we're targeting bot lane, but oh well. Uh, again, I don't combo correctly there. I don't auto attack animation cancel, but I at least get the knock up and that's what matters. Uh, counter jungle when I can. I see that they're fighting uh, over there. I think I do dragon now. Yeah. So I do dragon now. I go for my red. Yeah, I go for my red. And then what's my, most likely gonna happen is I'm about to hit level six. Um, so I would go for this bot lane, but they're pathing mid. We ping it to let them know. So they're out of position now. Even though I'm caught on a ward right there, as you can see, it doesn't matter because these guys have to get back to lane somehow and I'm not gonna let them. So what I do is I do the same maneuver. For some reason, Leeson is waiting in this bush. It doesn't really make sense. Misses his Q. Um, we collapse. Easy peasy. Again, we're just trying to cut them off. Don't let them back into lane. And just rinse and repeat. Just do the same thing. Like, even there, I missed my knockup entirely. But it doesn't even matter. Um, notice how I hold my ultimate. Notice how I hold my ultimate right there, because that's uh, like half a second or a second before Victor's stun activates. So when you ultimate uh, right there, you mitigate any sort of stun. Boom, just like that. Uh, he's one in five, level, might be level five. Our Niv uh, Nivea is level eight. So she's scaling to the moon, um, getting these kills. And just like that, we get a nine minute first tower, counter jungle some more, clear vision. How much gold do we have? I don't remember the, the command to check gold. Oh, there it is. 
So I got 4,000 golds or 5,000 golds. I got a 1k advantage over him. Anivia has almost a 2k advantage over Victor. And then Kaisa, because we've been pressuring her lane so much, uh, you know, just camping out in this bush, killing people in this bot side jungle, um, now has almost a 3,000 advantage. So it's really just pushing your advantages. And these advantages would be pushed even more if I wasn't if I didn't die up here, if instead I invested my time and energy down here, perhaps these advantages would be even more pushed. So it doesn't really matter in this case because we're just so far ahead, um, but that's just something to note. So, but we're also, another, something to, another thing to note is we're not so far ahead that it's uh, unwinnable for the enemy team. You still need to be playing to some extent with, um, you know, with some caution and not doing uh, stupid ass plays, you know. So we see the Lee Sin up here, we ping it out, get him. I'm coming up here because I want to get this. I also just want to be in the general area of, of these two and uh, Nivea because that's how we're going to be making plays. Uh, so these guys, like, I, I don't know what Braum and Victor are really doing. Like, they should be farming up, not trying to catch people out. So Victor burns his summoners, blah, 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 blah. Um, I get this. They're so low, I should... Nope, nope, okay, I just dropped that. Again, just applying pressure. Oh, I definitely made a mistake here. So I'll point this out. Um, we see the, the Lee Sin on Kai'Sa. I, I wanted to get this tower, but the play just moved away from the tower. We now know Lee Sin is over here. So again, I'm just trying to cut him off. Pick the, the route that's going to do so. Go to the further furthest most point. Now watch the pressure works. Another cool ability of Rek'Sai is you can cancel dashes if you can time it correctly. So Lee Sin lands his Q, which is a dash. If you knock someone up in their dash, Lee Sin's Q doesn't matter. So we get that kill, it's pretty hype. Bangarang, insert Skrillex here. Um, but I, I push way too far, I shouldn't have done this. Yeah, this is my bad. No, no need to do that, it's a little too much. Um, too much aggression, can't really dive that tier turret at this moment. Um, Especially when I don't have backup. So that's either like a one for one or Lucian kills me. Either way, that's not a good trade for me. So that happens. I'll take responsibility for that one. Uh, Dragon's coming up, so that's the objective. Lee Sin's on that shit. I don't know why Lee Sin's on it, to be quite honest. Um, he kicks me away. Can't really get there in time for the smite, is what it is. We at least pick up two kills. But because those two are dead, we must get this. Again, just pushing your advantages when you see them. Now this, again, is probably, not probably, this is, I was actually trying to, didn't even mean to do that. I was just trying to flash with the victor. Uh, I get the victor, get out. Uh, that's probably a little too quick. This is not a good play. Like, like I was saying, just way too aggressive. I should have just let the Kaisa do her thing. Ah. Or maybe it anticipated the Lucian dash or something. Either way, no bueno. Um, just giving up shutdowns. Oh well. Continue farming. Um, Pike's over here. Just trying to save the day a little bit. This is okay because no one's nearby. Notice how um, for Rek'Sai, for Rek'Sai's uh, little rage bar, Look, read his E ability. Uh, oh, it doesn't show the unburrowed. Hold on, let me unburrow real quick. Okay. That's weird. So it should show, sorry, um, Rek'Sai E ability. this. Rek'Sai bites her target, dealing double damage and true damage if she has max fury. So, as you can imagine, 
you should really wait to use your E until you need to. Boom. Almost like a, a finish off move. Bite. Like a... Like Bully Bear Bites... Uh, Bully Bear Bites used to be... Or like sets... Um, e... Or the more Fury Bar he has, the, the more uh, damage it deals and the more shield he gains. Um, so again, just picking people out of position when they are and then capitalizing off of that and getting objectives. So did that. Now we're gonna get this top tower, or at least should get the top tower with Shen. Um, there's some moves being made here. I see if I can get back up or uh, be back up, but those guys are just overextended. No reason for them to be there by themselves. Now this is a quick, quick little tidbit. You really need to be using your F keys to observe um, what the enemies are doing. Um, so, uh, not even F keys in this situation, but just like looking around the map. Because right here, I'm like, mm, these two are too powerful for me. I can't uh, double team them or kill, the, kill them while they're double teaming me, rather. But notice how I, I observe the Lucian Ean, that and they're really sticking to this turret. There's no minions, so if I attack them right now, they're gonna attack me under tower, and therefore I'm gonna have a turret as my backup. So Lucian doesn't have any, doesn't have his E, Therefore, I dash onto him. Boom, boom, boom. And it's really just about calculated aggression. Like, I die, but it's a one for two. Because again, I have the turret. Lucian doesn't have a dash. So I can just immediately kill him. Maybe, uh, yeah, I guess if Braum was a little bit smarter with his tanking, that would be a, a one for one, but oh well. So we proceed, uh, I go up here, I'm like, hey, you guys are, I, I wait a second, yeah, I could go gung-ho, just jump in, but why Why do that when in two seconds they're going to be underneath a turret, and again, we have turret as backup. So I go on the Lee Sin, uh, use my bite as execute, I go on Lee Sin because why not? Like, he is the... He'll be very quick to kill. Wait, am I? He'll be very quick to kill. Sorry, I was just checking my OBS. Um, so we can just one-shot him, and that just makes it a 1v2. Uh, so we do that. I should go on here. I'm pinging my team to keep pushing top lane while I get this. Um, I, I see that Dragon is up. I think Lee Sin is again trying to, to get it quickly. Like, that's just not gonna happen. We're so far ahead. Uh, wait, yeah. So, waiting for Braum to go over the wall, and then I use my E. Try and get the double knockup, but I wasn't quick enough. I do know that they can burst me, but it's calculated aggression, again. Like, they can easily kill me because these people aren't readily available for backup. She's preoccupied, and uh, these two are over the wall. So, boom, that's a golden bug right there. Is Rek'Sai a bug? I don't know. Um, but it doesn't matter, because we just get them here. I try and chase down this Victor, I'm like, you're not getting away, he gets away. Um, again, she's trying to cut off again. Uh, there's a fight. Fight, 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 fight. And just getting objectives. Call call a rift. It probably wasn't the best use of rift. Ideally, at that point, if I'm going to use a rift, I want to get a um, inhibitor. I couldn't think of inhibitor. Inhibitor off of it? It doesn't happen. That's okay. Uh, we at least get... Boom. That off. I'm just uh, lounging around. Now, I'm sort of like stalling for time a little bit right here. I see that my team is fighting, but I also see this Lucian here. And given like his track record this game, he's kind of playing like a maniac. He's been overextending, just a little too aggressive. So I let him do his thing, push out the, the lane. Um, I get some things in the meantime, and then I just chill here. I see him on my Rek'Sai radar. That's a pretty funny word. Um, I, again, like just using his dash so haphazardly. 
Oh, wait, that's bad of me. I, I should have just used my tunnel that was already there. I, sl I slow him with my smite. I dash. He doesn't have a dash. Boom. Now, what, what do you do right here? What would you do? 12k goal, gold ahead. Shen and Anivia are dead. Leeson, Victor, Lucian, and Braum are dead. 20, uh, 20 minutes, 43 seconds into the game. Ideally, you want a Baron. Kaisa is so far ahead. I'm so strong. Pike strong? Uh, he's doing all right. Um, we could go for this guy, but if he isn't posing an active threat to our Baron, I see no reason to. So we just go for the Baron. Like, we're just trying to end this game as quick as possible. And to be quite honest, like, I probably went for too many picks this game. I mean, <laughs> it's 51 to 22. There's been 70, 73 kills 20 minutes in. Uh, so I am trying to end this game as quick as possible, but I probably could have done more to end it uh, quicker instead of going for all these kills. So I get that, get that, recall, and I'm just trying to make moves to end. So I'm pinging this mid turret. Pinging the mid turret. Wait, what just happened? Oh, uh, he flashes onto the Kaisa. Braum jumps in. Don't know why. And if you're the enemy team, like, you really shouldn't be giving up. We're only down, we were only down like 12k gold a second ago, which is like four items, which sounds like a lot, but it's still very doable. Like all it takes is a couple mistakes, you know? Um, especially when you have squishies like, like me and Kaisa that have our, our lead. But that's just a tangent. So we get these objectives, don't know what Victor's doing, get the kill, boom, boom, boom. I think we end right here, right? Yeah. So not fucking around, just hitting the turret. And just like that, GG. So perhaps this wasn't the most comprehensive Rek'Sai guide, but at least it's a um, example of a successful Rek'Sai game and some various, you know, micro uh, Rek'Sai mechanical techniques that you can use, but also some general jungle, uh, jungling macro techniques that you can use. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, want to flame me, want to compliment me, leave those in the comments. Um, otherwise, have a good day and peace.